<laughs> There's a vlog here, a bit of a waffle here. Um, a bit about this code here. Um, I just, I'm trying to see how they, I'm trying to see now how those that lay the code cannot see that by laying the code around people in front of them, how it won't backfire against them. I'm trying to see a way that it won't, but, um, because it looks like it's going to. Uh, it's effectively now, the code that everyone's laying is, um, <clears throat> um, basically, yeah, the code is like an apple, yeah? Think of it like a, think of the code at the moment, that everyone's laying this code around people, yeah, trying to warn people and whatever, yeah? Uh, they're telling people... They're trying to create a safe zone. They're trying to warn people about people that they don't even know anything about. <laughs> but the reason why... Uh, this is how it works. Um, your phone number is your username. And what's on it is whatever the state have got against you. Whatever they've decided that, that that's, that's, that's it. That's... Um, your profile is whatever the state have got against you. And your phone number will ping against their phone. So even though you don't know them, and they don't know you, they know you by your phone number that pings on their phone. And it will ping in a... It will ping in a code, which tells them, a warning code, which tells them about you even though you don't even know that it's happened, right? That's how dangerous the code is. The code is like, the code is like an apple, yeah? And it's starting to see, it, it reverses against people. The co those that lay the code think they can never be caught laying the code. Because they're laying it behind someone's back, in front of, or in front of them, without the best people even knowing. But, and their phone signal is drawing codes. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But at some point, people will realise that your signal, just like your Google Maps, your Google Maps will be a signal, which is how Google can tell where, where your phone has been, right, by the signal that follows the signal. Same as like the speed cameras. You can't say that the vehicle is doing uh, 50 mile an hour when your phone is doing 70. Because your phone gives you away for the speed that you the, the vehicle is moving at. And the same with the signals, phone signals. It's drawing patterns on a grid. It's like the stars. But they're, sig they're phone signals with people's profiles on them, with everything about that person on it. But it's drawing signals. So a person can be in a lay-by, on their own, in their own car. But on, a, on this app or website, whatever they're using, it will show that the, a person is in the lay-by that needs to have... It's either, it's either got something to do with super, supervision orders, it's got rest, restraining orders, it's got monitoring codes in it, it's got military codes, it's got everything in it, this code. Yeah. There's aspects of everything in this code. But, at the moment, it's just a few specks on an apple, of mold, uh, that are starting to uh, rot an apple. But, the apple's sitting on wet sugar. And it's only a matter of time before the apple is just a rotten apple completely. Nothing left but the core. And it's, it's effectively a code cancer. This code will affect more people than cancer. That is the impact that this, this code will have. Because what it does, it pushes people into a corner. And when people are pushed into a corner, they do one of two things. 
they buckle under the pressure or they don't. <laughs> the sheer volume of people laying this code globally will buck will put people into a corner and they will buckle under the pressure. But at some point someone won't. And at that point it reverses the code against all those that use it. I don't know the consequences, I haven't got a flip. But I know that the code will be reversed. And there's a, f there's a few ways that the code can be reversed against those that I currently use laying the code everywhere. One, they don't think they, they one, they don't, they don't think that they can ever be caught by laying the code. And two, if the, if the code was reversed by any number of individuals, it affects against those that lay it. It's like reversing a tidal wave against itself. That is, that is effectively the impact that we have. No one is stronger than the code. The code is neutral, it doesn't care who it affects or who lays it. But the people who lay it, who think it's all nice and trendy to lay this code, at some point, those that lay it in a group, the group will turn on, it, on itself. will yeah, yeah I, I can't see how it can't and it's reversing you only got to pick up a paper every day of the week and the code is reversing against those that use it it's like teachers lawyers doctors whatever yeah they all know the code MPs they all know the code that they're laying but at some point the code that they're laying who that where they think it's all funny it's all the fun and games laying this code not sure they're going to think it the same when the code can't be stopped and the code is laid around their vehicle 24-7 they won't cope so as clever as the code is it's cleverer than those that invented it and it's interesting times I don't think it's got five years before it completely reverses People will not be laying code in five years' time. The internet will be so quick, it'll be scared. Well, this is it. The reversal of the code will be that quick. It will affect that many people. It will almost be too dangerous to, to use this code within five years. If Facebook gets any bigger. Just where I see it, I just, I, I, I think it's not a very nice code. It's being used by not very nice people, and uh, it will be reversed against those that think it's clever to use it. And there's quite a few different ways of how it can be reversed. You could be a teacher. You could have had 20 odd years as, in a, as, as a teacher. Be very reputable. You've only got a full family code. And you haven't got a career. You haven't got a career. <laughs> 